got this piece right here that broke as well when it, when it all came loose. And uh, you can find this. Or no, this, you can't find this either. It's this one and this one. These two pieces you can't find anymore. They don't make them. CP Performance, when they bought out Berkeley, uh, they went to this uh, place diverter, and it's just, I mean, as you can tell, it's just a better unit altogether. You look at this and you look at that, you kind of wonder what the hell. I wonder what Berkeley was thinking when they came up with the generator. It worked for a lot of years. Again, you gotta love your Loctite, use it. Use it if you have to. But you don't want this stuff coming apart. When you uh, go to put this back together after you've torn it apart, just kind of a little note, long screw on top. Short screw on the side. top in first is what I would do, so it'll kind of settle everything in, and then run the side in, just kind of get the top nice and tight and snug, whatever you want to call it. Get it so it's lined up, and you can worry about the side one, the side one's kind of works out that way. I said be liberal, don't be liberal, be liberal, I mean, with that, uh, yeah, you want to use liberal amounts of uh, Loctite on this stuff, just make sure, just, you don't want, really, man, you don't want this stuff coming apart. Now, if your steering cable and all of that is fine, You'd be almost done. It's just a matter of hooking the hydraulics up. Now, past steering cable and port first cable's kind of chewed up from the incident, so we're replacing those. That's how you put the place diverter nozzle on your Berkeley jet. Have a good day. 13 minutes on So here we are installing this right here. That. This guy. It's a rack of pinion for a boat. It's going to go where that hole is in the dash here. And basically, what it is is a couple parts here. You got this thing. You're pulling the rack of pinion, you, know, you got a cable hooked onto it. So it, all, it moves the jet. Then you have the mounting plate for the steering box. And you got your steering box here. So we've already drilled the hole, as you can tell. There was another, there was a, a spool type steering set up in it before, but we wanted to loosen up the steering a little bit. This is probably the best bet to go. Thank you, CP Motorsports. It's awesome. Looks really good. We went ahead and we modified how the gear shift goes so all the way down is forward all the way up is reverse and of course neutral and all that that's all moving nice and smoothly nice and free there's where the cable comes out back there can't really see where I mounted where, where I mounted it but you know there it is that's the whole whole setup runs up goes through there and Runs all the way back to the back of the boat, back there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Can't wait till it's done. 
mocking up our template right now so we can do our center holes, center punches. And we'll all update you guys in a couple minutes. Well, we got the steering cable hooked up. It's all rack and pinion now. Steering wheel in, steering cable. But when I got to looking at something, and you guys are going to notice on my earlier video, you see that bushing right there? I know you do. Those of you that were watching the video earlier, put this place diverter in, you're probably calling me an idiot, and rightfully so. It's in upside down. Now I got to take everything all back apart and put it on the inside. Inside. <laughs> in there. So, oh well. Got our hydraulic lines run. Those come out pretty nice. It already had the hole in the a hole in the hole for the old Genovator hydraulics. So that's all in there. They come down, just run right along here and hook right into the pump. That's the pump that comes with the hydraulic. If you get the uh, hydraulic pump for the place diverter, that's the hydraulic pump there. It's a really simple hookup, looks like. It's just uh, they send you a wiring harness. This wire right here, black wire, that goes to ground on battery. And then these wires right here, you can see they're dabbling around. Those are, uh, this going to this harness here. And this harness runs up to the front of the dash. Runs up to the dash and hooks into our switch. Came with perfect instructions on how to hook that up. So we'll deal with that later. Get everything away for right now. So I give it one thing to the CP performance guys. Because it supplied me this stuff. They thought of everything, or at least place diverter, they thought of everything. It, they, they really did. They outdid themselves. There's a lot more shit involved. Oh, this gets hooked onto the ignition switch. It goes to the right, that switch I showed you guys earlier. But, it's all pretty clean. Pretty clean little install. Worked out pretty well. Pat Cole's happy. <laughs> He better be. He spent $1,400 on this shit. So, I'm going to try to figure out how to get this loop out of there. I don't like this loop. It won't go anywhere else. But, you know, fuck it. If that loop sits there, that loop sits there. I'm kind of not really happy about how high that thing sticks out, but I guess it has to. This doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Place diverter. Not bad. Well, we're except for hooking wires up, we are right at eleven to six, so we're right at seven hours to install everything. Steering. New forward reverse controls and the uh, nozzles, nozzle housing. Not too bad. Next boat, probably go by faster. But those are my videos on how to install a place diverter. Well, not how to, but steps as we did it. Sean with Mobile Mechanic Service, and enjoy your day.